So I want to begin with a question today. What's the first word that comes to your mind when you hear the word luxury? Uh, for me, it's expensive. Uh, for some, it could also be pictures of a shiny leather bag or a fur coat or phrases like made with the finest of materials or great ethical brands that are sustainable because they're expensive uh, and so on and so forth. So if that's the case, I'd really love if you could watch this video till the end. Uh, you might see your perception changing. Let's get started. So this video is divided into two parts where in the first part I try to recreate this Dior tote bag which I'll be honest about does not look like exactly the same bag but I try to do the best of whatever I can and let's see how it goes. And in the second part we discuss about things that are not as rosy as it seems in the luxury industry which in fact inspired me to make my own bag. So very recently I came across this viral TikTok video of an American luxury brand coach wherein a steady stream of handbags was slashed and cut in the front. Ma, as you can see they're all slashed which is coach's policy. This is what they do with unwanted merchandise. They order an employee to deliberately slash it so no one can use it. As I tried to dig further, I discovered that in 2018, Burberry faced massive criticism for burning its unsold stock. Now that's what inspired me to read more about luxury industry because why would somebody burn their own stock? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, right? We'll be talking about all of this, but first let's begin with recreating the bag. So first up, I began looking for some possible choices that could be recreated. Uh, there were a lot of leather bags, which was way impossible to make on own. Uh, then I stumbled on this Dior tote bag, which wasn't made of leather and seemed a tad bit possible. Though it's a very popular luxury item from Priyanka Chopra, Bella Hadid, Jennifer Lawrence, it's everywhere. So this bag is actually a similar variant of the previous one and I chose this because I had a similar green embroidered fabric and also this black one for the middle panel. After finding the required fabric, then I handed over the fabric to the tailor, explained him what to make and though he was a little skeptical to make it but he took it as a challenge and he said he'll try his best and then I waited for it. And this is how it looks. Okay, honestly, I love this bag while I'm completely aware of the fact that it's not exactly the same, but I'm very proud of whatever the tailor could make. Uh, the only flaw that I can think of is the black middle strip is a little above than it should be and the two horizontal strips are a little thin compared to the original one. But it's really fine and I really love it. Now coming on to the second part of the video, the dirty practices of the luxury industry. Starting with the first one. In luxury, leather means record-breaking profits, whether it's a leather bag, leather shoes, or accessories. But wait, where does this leather come from? Well, here's how leather is made. Workers in animal abusing industries raise animals, slaughter, and kill them in painful ways, hack them into pieces, or peel off their skin, often when they are still conscious, treat them with cancer-causing chemicals, and then transport the animal's petrified carcasses or their body parts to a factory because that's where the leather making process begins. The abuse, pain and suffering of animals is one part. But what about the people that are working in these industries? Well, these leather making industries are coined a term which is called as tanning industry and the health concerns that are associated with it are really dangerous and often fatal. Honestly, I didn't get into details too much because it was too inhuman to even talk about it. Uh, I tried to explain as briefly as possible, but the reality is really pathetic. Coming on to the second part. Imagine being a business that regularly takes huge piles of their own products worth millions of pounds and burn them. Yes, that's exactly what luxury brands do to their unsold stock. And here's why. The products that are burnt are ones that do not sell at a high enough price. So these brands, rather than watch them go on a sale at hefty discounts, burn them. Another aspect to this is also the fact that luxury brands want to maintain exclusivity through scarcity. Uh, the lesser the product's availability, the higher the demand levels and even higher the market value of these products. Also, before these products are dumped, they are often slashed, cut or bleached into chemicals like the TikTok video that I was talking about, so that no one else can use them. But by doing so, companies also get the benefit of tax credit. And here's how. 
purposefully damaging items to a point where they become effectively unsaleable offer companies the same tax benefits that they would reap had the items have been damaged accidentally which means that all the damaged inventory can be considered as a tax write off i mean how much waste is too much waste plus the carbon emissions from burning these products as they have so many chemicals that gets infused in the air coming to the third part apart from the workers working for the leather industry what about the workers in general well it would be safe to assume that since these are luxury brands who charge a hefty amount from their consumers would be providing safe and great working conditions to their workers right uh, well you'll be shocked to know that there was this study by the new york times for many years dior saint laurent and other fashion brands have been quietly using indian embroiderers for their goods depending on their expertise while offering little in the way of employment protection coming to the last and final part Another profit making area for luxury brands is fur whether it's a fur coat or a trinket majority of this fur has caused an animal suffering and took away a life more than half the fur comes from china where millions of dogs and cats are hanged and bled to death and often skinned alive for their fur it's kind of ridiculous that just for the sake of money and profits the environment is put on stake animals are killed and the people who are working for these industries are put into unfortunate circumstances just for money and it's kind of sad okay i know that this bag is far from luxury in fact i've never owned any luxury item but i also know that this bag is made by a tailor who was happy no animals were killed in the process nothing was burned in fact the tailor even returned me the unused fabric and probably this is what luxury means to me uh, but through this video i don't wish to sound judgy for anybody who's consuming these products in fact i'd like to apologize if i ever sounded like one but i'd only like to mention that as intelligent consumers we have a voice that matters and we can always demand better practices from these industries we've reached towards the end of the video and i really hope you found this video helpful So this is it. Thanks for stopping by. Also, would love to know your opinion about it. Uh, whether brands should consider these aspects, or is it fine to rule them out? Hoping to see you down in the comments below. And this is it. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye. I make videos on topics like sustainability and slow fashion. So if that sounds like your jam, please consider subscribing.